Pfizer is an American multinational pharmaceutical and biotechnology company with headquarters in New York. The company was founded in 1849 by Charles Pfizer and his cousin, Charles F. Ethert. At the beginning of the company's history, it made a drug called Santinin that killed parasites. It was an instant hit, but the company grew by making citric acid. In 1880, the company bought land, and in 1898, it expanded its lab and factory. It kept its offices on Flushing Avenue until 1960, after which it moved its main offices to Clinton Hill. Pfizer spent his summers in Newport, Rhode Island, which is also a very exclusive place. After Pfizer moved its administrative headquarters to 81 Maiden Lane in Manhattan, the company's sales went over $3 million. The company has learned from World War I and is doing different kinds of research. Pfizer imports calcium citrate from Italy, but there was a shortage, so the company started looking for an alternative. From this source, a Pfizer chemist learned about a fungus that turned sugar into citric acid. The company got good at fermentation technology. As a result, these skills were applied to the mass production of penicillin and antibiotics during World War II in response to the need to treat injured Allied soldiers. Due to the price decline for penicillin, Pfizer searched for new antibiotics with greater profit potential. In 1950, Pfizer discovered oxytetracycline, and it changed the company from a manufacturer of fine chemicals to a research-based pharmaceutical company. Pfizer developed a drug discover program after the company established an animal health division with a 700-acre farm and research facility in Terre Haute, Indiana. In 1950, Pfizer established offices in Belgium, Brazil, Canada, Cuba, Mexico, Panama, Puerto Rico, and the United Kingdom. The company moved its medical research laboratory operations to New York. Pfizer launched an anti-inflammatory medicine that became Pfizer's first product to reach $1 billion in revenue. John Powers Jr. became chief executive officer of the company. After the Brooklyn plant fell into decline, the company formed a public-private partnership with New York City that encompassed the construction of low- and middle-income housing the refurbishment of apartment buildings for the homeless, and the establishment of charter schools. Edmund T. Pratt Jr. became chief executive officer of the company. In 1981, the company received approval for Diflucan, the first oral treatment for severe fungal infections. Pfizer acquired the worldwide rights to Zithromax, a macrolide antibiotic that is recommended to the infectious diseases by Society of America as the first line of treatment for certain cases of community-acquired pneumonia. In 1989, Pfizer scientists Peter Dunn and Albert Wood created Viagra for treating high blood pressure and angina, heart problems. In 1991, it was patented in the United Kingdom as a heart medicine, but volunteers in the clinical trials had increased erections several days after taking the drug. It was patented in the United States and received approval by the Food and Drug Administration in March. Pfizer hired Bob Dole as a spokesperson for the drugs. William C. Steer Jr. became chief executive officer of the company. Pfizer company also began marketing Zoloft, an antidepressant primarily prescribed for major depressive disorder in adults. It became a generic drug with sales over $3 billion and over 100 million people had been treated with the drug. ISI, in partnership with Pfizer, received approval from the Food and Drug Administration for Denepazil, under the brand Aricept for the treatment of Alzheimer's disease. Pfizer also received approval for Norvasc. Pfizer Company entered into a co-marketing agreement with Warner Lambert for Lipitor, a statin for the treatment of hypercholesterolemia. Clinical trials showed that atorvastatin caused a more dramatic reduction in low-density lipoprotein patterns than other statin drugs. Lipidor was the best-selling drug ever, with approximately $125 billion in sales over 14.5 years. Henry McKinnell became chief executive officer for the company. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation purchased stock in Pfizer. The Pfizer company received approval for Lyrica, an anticonvulsant and anxiolytic medication used to treat epilepsy, neuropathic pain, fibromyalgia, restless leg syndrome, and generalized anxiety disorder. 
the United States patent on Lyrica was challenged by generic manufacturers and was upheld in 2014 and 2016. The drug had sales of $4.2 billion. Jeff Kindler was named CEO of the company. In December 2006, Pfizer ceased development of torcetrabib, a drug that increases production of HDL, which reduces LDL. During a phase in a clinical trial involving 15,000 patients, more deaths than expected occurred in the group that took the medicine. Pfizer spent $303 million on investigation and legal fees, recovered about $5.1 million, and had another $5 million in pending recoveries. Pfizer announced 275 job cuts at its manufacturing facility in Michigan. Pfizer acquired Warner Lambert outright for $92 billion. Pfizer sold off stocks and several minor products, including RID, a shampoo for the treatment of head lice, and Warner Lambert's antidepressant. In 2003, Pfizer merged with Pharmacia and, in the process, acquired Searle & Sugen. Searle had developed Flagle. The Sugen facility was shut down. By 2006, Pfizer announced it would acquire PowerMed. In 2009, Pfizer acquired Wyeth for $68 billion. The acquisition of Wyeth provided Pfizer a pneumococcal conjugate vaccine. Pfizer introduced an improved version of the vaccine, for which it was granted a patent in India. Ian Reid was named CEO of the company. Pfizer announced the closure of its UK research and development facility in Sandwich, Kent. Pfizer acquired King Pharmaceuticals for $3.6 billion in cash. On September 4, 2012, the FDA approved Basutinib. In 2012, Pfizer received approval from the Food and Drug Administration for Zelljans. On February 1, 2013, Zoetis, the agricultural division of Pfizer, became a public company. In September 14, the company acquired Innopharma for $225 million. On January 5, 2015, the company announced it would acquire a controlling interest in Redvax. In February 2015, the company received approval for treatment of certain types of breast cancer. In September 2015, Pfizer acquired Hospira for $17 billion. In June 2016, the company acquired Anacor Pharmaceuticals for $5.2 billion. In January 2021, Pfizer announced a new logo, and in April of that year, Pfizer acquired Amplex. Pfizer has developed and launched several products in response to the pandemic, including the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine and Paxlovid. In March 2020, Pfizer joined the COVID-19 Therapeutics Accelerators, and in May, Pfizer began testing four different vaccines. Later on, November 9, 2020, Pfizer announced that the BioNTech vaccine tested on 43,500 people was found to be 90% effective. As of early May 2021, Pfizer and BioNTech had manufactured at least 430 million vaccine doses, which have been distributed to 91 countries and territories. In November 2021, Pfizer launched a new oral antiviral treatment known as Paxlovid. In January 2022, Pfizer's CEO, Albert Borla, confirmed that the trial on the fourth dose was pending until March 2022. In May 2022, reports emerged of patients experiencing rebound symptoms after completing a five-day course of Paxlovid. The FDA responded by announcing they had performed additional analysis of the drug's clinical trial data and decided against changing its recommendations. The U.S. President and Anthony Fauci were both reported to have experienced this rebound syndrome. Pfizer is on the list of the S&P 500, and it was first added in 1957. Today, the stock is traded at the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker PFE for a value of around $47 per share. That's all for today. What company would you like us to talk about in our future videos? Let us know in the comments section. Big Company Business will be back next week. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, share, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss anything. See you in the next one.